The skirl of the pipes indicated a great occasion at Hampden Park, the final of the Scottish Cup. And here are Rangers, 14-time Cup winners, ready to do battle against Kilmarnock, whose jockey cap skipper Jimmy Brown won the toss. Rangers kicked off on a glorious afternoon, 104,000 almost capacity filled the great stadium. Next to the recent game against England, this was the match of the year north of the border. It looked dangerous when Rangers sent to the ball, and yes, Davy Wilson had it in Kilmarnock's goal. But the referee had whistled a foul on a Rangers forward. Goal disallowed. Again, Rangers attacked. Miller headed in. Davy Wilson tried to get another for Rangers, but shot wide. At half-time, Rangers led 1-0, though playing much better than the score indicated. Their defence was sound. Away on the right, Alex Scott was fouled by Kilmarnock left-back Matt Watson. The referee awarded Rangers a penalty. Skipper Eric Caldo's kick went over the bar. Time and again, Kilmarnock was saved by the brilliant goalkeeping of Jimmy Brown and when Scott headed wide by a piece of good luck. Foul against Rangers. Stevenson's free kick found Miller. Another goal for Rangers. Now Kilmarnock counter-attacked. With a bit of good fortune, they might have scored. But mites don't count in football. Certainly not against Rangers, playing as only they can on their day. Niven was safe as a rock in goal. He kept Kilmarnock out. When the referee blew full time, Rangers had won the cup by two goals to nil. What a club these Rangers are. Cup winners for the 15th time, five times since the war.